Now let's go ahead and tie together a few different concepts here. Um, one of them is that if we have something like 12 divided by 3, the fact that the answer is 4 remainder 0. So since we have a remainder of 0, that tells us that 3 is a factor of 12. So the same thing ends up applying for um, a polynomial. So let's go ahead and look at a simple example here. So let's say that I have x minus 2 times x plus 2, and I divide that by x plus 2. Well, if I were to divide the numerator, this polynomial here, by the denominator, I will get x minus 2 with a remainder of 0. What is that telling me is that x plus 2 is a factor of this numerator, x minus 2 times x plus 2. So in other words, we know that if the remainder equals 0, it is a factor. Well, what we end up finding is that factors are generally pretty important. For example, um, when you are asked to find the x-intercepts of something like this, well, First off, if we want to find the x-intercepts or the zeros, we set y equal to zero. And then generally you would factor it. Yeah, I'm saying that word a little weird. And then you would set those equal to zero. And you would have your zeros or your x-intercepts. Well, that's basically what we're going to be doing here, but it's going to be slightly more complicated because we're not going to be able to factor it as easily so because we're going to be dealing with polynomial functions that are um, of higher degrees than just two. We can't use our traditional factoring methods. So how are we going to get around that? Well, it's actually pretty easy. We're going to use synthetic division. Just as we said before, since we know that these are factors, we know that they would have a remainder of zero if they were divided into our original function. So we can check to see if something is a factor or a zero if we um, use synthetic division and then check the remainder. For example, let's say we had something like this. Okay, so as I mentioned before, and it's technically mathematically a little incorrect, but we are going to use synthetic division and to see if this is a factor. To do that, we need to use what I will, I'll go ahead and call the proposed zero. So we are going to kind of do this, this, these steps right here and say our proposed zero would just be negative six. So if we use this zero in our synthetic division, then if the remainder is zero, we know that this factor divided evenly, okay, into the um, polynomial making it a factor of the polynomial. Oh, and there we go. What we end up finding is that x minus six, or, okay, or I'm sorry, x plus six, when divided into our original polynomial here, gives us a remainder of zero, meaning that it is in fact a factor of the polynomial. And on top of that, let's give this a name, let's go ahead and call it f of x, we also know here that f of x has a zero at negative six. So we found an x-intercept of our polynomial as well. And this method will work really well when we start dealing with higher degree polynomials, third, fourth, all that good stuff.